Mm-hmm. Anuj asks why equities give better returns than other asset classes over the long term. This requires a uh, independent hangout session, but I would still like to explain it briefly. Uh, two things, uh, which to my understanding or what I have unst- understood. One is that uh, equity is nothing but uh, trying to get, you know, you become the owner of a company and you become the beneficiary of a company. Uh, you, you, you are a part owner of the company, so you are entitled to the profits of the company and stock price is a reflection of rising profit and rising, earn, you know, rising earnings, uh, rising income, uh, rising sales. So if there is a good company which is growing its sales and growing its profits uh, and this growing its profit and growing its sales is a function of uh, inflation. Uh, we, if, if these companies are able to, if a company has the pricing power, they will be able to increase their profits and increase their sales as inflation goes up. Uh, whereas as fixed income, we have seen that on many occasions, whatever you, the the incre- the high you know the margin over and above inflation is not not substantial you barely you are barely able to beat inflation with fixed income uh, so a- and then there is another reason companies borrow only to maximize their return so if a company is you know if if a company has some capital and it is selling it some product and uh, it will borrow only if it is able to maximize its return because uh, they will incur the interest and the cost of interest must be lower than the earnings that they will uh, they will have so in case of companies uh, so so that is why uh, so two three things i would like to summarize that companies earnings and profit gets inflation adjusted as consumers pay higher price with rising prices companies borrow only if they, it is beneficial to them which means the shareholders return must be higher uh, and uh, these two things primarily makes uh, equity as a bed, better option and then superior superior companies are able to do something more than this uh, superior companies are able to uh, enlarge their market uh, have a larger market share ma- you know create greater efficiency and maximize their profit so they are able to achieve a greater scale and benefit from that. So these three things combined together actually creates more return for shareholders and, and all these things translate in, translates into superior stock prices. Uh, but then it comes with a lot of risks. Many companies die in the process, many companies dis- disappear, many companies don't change, become obsolete. There are companies which are unable, to, there, are, there are companies which become mismanaged. So you have to be careful about this. Ownership comes with all these attendant risks and uh, over and above there are investors risk. There are great companies but uh, investors buy it at such lofty prices that they never make money. So you have many risks which you have to deal with and uh, we, we, we talk, keep talking about these issues in Money Hangout uh, that how to de-risk yourself from catching a market high. SIP we keep, keep talking about so often. Likewise. Choosing a good fund is basically means entrusting your fund, entrusting your money to a fund manager, who will make sure that he is buying into those companies which are attractively priced and will are also likely to do well in future. So uh, these things. So in a nutshell, these are the primary reasons why equity does better than fixed income. 